Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the SimCity 4 Masterclass. My name is SmileyMK93 and in this video we're going to finish our work on airports by considering some finishing touches we can add to add some extra de detail to the airport. We're going to start by adding some extra taxiway markings from the TMIP version 2 which was released in between the re the publication of parts 2 and 3 of this Masterclass mini-series. Suppose these gate markings go on the middle of our taxiway lines, so as you can see I have deleted the, uh, the old lots and I'm just going to go into the airports menu now and find the, find the new ones. Lots we're looking for are these ones here. The gate I want also light. Notice how notice where we place it. There is a little yellow marker at the, the top. Or a little yellow marker to show where the O1 number will be. And you want to place the marker so that it faces the entrance of the gate. Once you've done that place the lots for all of your gates, we're going to move on to some taxiway markings. We're going to use this P, these pieces here, the taxiway letter pieces, to denote the entrance to a taxiway. Again, when placing these pieces, the arrow should face the pilots. Now the pilots are going to come in from the left and the right. So as I place this right arrow here you can see I've pointed my arrow to the left because that's pointing towards the pilots as as they would be come or so I pointed to the direction the pilots would be coming from so you can see there we've got the arrows that the pilot coming in from the taxiway would see the taxiway to the south we're now going to look at building some airport roads to allow the surface, sorry, the service vehicles to get around the airport. To do this, we're going to use the airport road improvement project lots. We're going to build a gate at the entrance, like you, like we've done previously with the control tower. We're going to need to clear quite a bit of space for the airport roads, and we're going to knock out a couple of taxiways as well because we're going to build some taxiway crossings but first whilst we're at this point in the menu we're going to plop down a vehicle equipment yard this is from the TMIP2 set where we got our extra taxiway markings from and now we're going to look at building some roads this is the free x straight piece. I'm using the dark version because it contains an LHD stop line. Notice that the dark lots can be identified by the D on the lot icon in the menu and there is a white helper piece on the preview that you can use to orient the roads correctly. What we're trying to do here is to build some roads parallel to the taxiways, parallel to the runway, and with a few suitable crossing vertical crossing points, so the car, so airport service vehicles can get to any part of the airport quickly. Here I'm placing a crossover. Notice I've used the alternate version. There's a version with 90 degree angled markings, but I've not used that. Instead, I've used the curved marking version, which gives smooth corners which I think is a bit more realistic. I've just placed a taxiway crossing piece. Notice that the white preview line refers to the center line of the road not the taxiway, that's quite important. To remember otherwise you may get a bit confused. Just clearing some space for another taxiway crossing. Now we're gonna carry the road on over these gates. 
to do that I'm going to need to move the gate marking boundaries one tile forward so I'm just getting rid of those now and I'm clearing a path through them taxiway centre lines to allow the road to pass through as this is the OMIP ramp texture we're going to need a different lot this is the light background piece and it's identifiable in the menu because the lot icon does not have a D on it just placing down there some straight pieces and then we're going to build the taxi lineway centre crossovers and there is a special lot for that the straight with taxiway line notice that we are notice the preview notice so you notice how we're orienting the lot the preview prop that white line you can see is for the centre line of the road not the taxiway okay so now the next stage is to just fill in some the rest of the airport roads I'm going, to, I'm going to show you some key pointers, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it takes quite a while. At runways you need to put a hold line for your cars because all aircraft, so all service vehicles need clearance before crossing a runway. At this diagonal taxiway crossing there is a special piece for making that crossing and that is the piece I am about to select the straight road on diagonal taxiway I think that was the A piece there is another B piece for taxiways going from the bottom left of the screen to the top right as it would look we're now going to look at some diagonals around this the end of the runway here here I'm placing center pieces but you also need edge pieces, it's a bit like building the taxi maze. Here yeah, I'm just te below there I was just testing the orientation and then placing the pieces. Before you just need to clear a bit of your grass to accommodate the airport roads. Notice the orientation, just like with the taxiways, the arrow points towards the centre line of the road. At least for the edge pieces. For the middle pieces, you'll just need to, you might need to pop a test lot as I did earlier. And here I'm just filling in the rest of the outer pieces. Now this is a curved piece, notice that the arrow pointed towards the straight bit and on the menu you need to be a bit careful with that because the left turn is actually for the right, left turn icon is actually for the right turn piece. Here you can see I've completed the airport road, notice the layout and the parallel runways and that was me just filling in all the bits we demolished in the process of building the road. To finish off the airport we're going to plop some ploppable MMP planes. Now, a good place to put them is one is just before the runway as it's queuing up, as it's being held there waiting for takeoff clearance. Here I made a bit, here I didn't plop it far enough in the corner, so I've just had to demolish the taxiway, rebuild it, and then we can plop the aircraft again. You can also place aircraft on the runway, however you must only have one aircraft on the runway at any one time. Try to keep a one way system for your aircraft, obviously there's no point in having aircraft queuing up for the other runway because clearly the it's runway 09 that was is in use here. See that plane was facing the wrong way just there. So he clicked again and we got the plane in the correct orientation. So here we're going to place another plane 
that's just left the runway and so our planes are in realistic positions queuing up for the runway and exiting the runway and that is pretty much it that is our completed airport of course there are other details you can add such as extra vehicles some shrubbery around the airport, some grass around the airport extra statues or features or other ancillary buildings but I would encourage you to get creative with those yeah, I'm just putting on a night shot to show you guys it's it does take quite a while to load So we have done quite a bit in this little mini series. Hopefully you've learned how to build an airport from start to finish, how to build realistic runways, taxiways, terminal buildings, and silly buildings such as hangars, car parks, and the facility and the transport around the airport, and the ancillary buildings around the airport, and some little finishing touches you can add. Our airport looks pretty good. So that is it for this little mini series of the Masterclass. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Smiley MK and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.